So Stella, the theme for this year's International Women's Day is Rape Bias. How important is gender equality in the workplace for you? Gender equality is massively important to me. Uh, coming uh, up through the workforce or throughout my career, I've worked in many male dominated uh, organisations and had some great relationships and great mentors with some of those men, but found enormous challenges just trying to find my way as a female. Uh, at Melbourne Victory, I was the first senior female manager that uh, the club had had, and that was a challenge, I think, for me, but also for them. Uh, you, know, we, you know, we found common ground in many places, but and, and I have enormous respect for some of the people that I've worked with, but there were some who really didn't get how difficult it could be for women. And I think, you know, if I look back through my career, things like having children, that, you know, it is just part of life. Uh, I think, you know, in the early days, we, we really tried to pretend we didn't have them so that they didn't impact our work and we didn't feel like, or have people judge us and think we were the weakest link in the chain. Um, you know, you, you have to take time off for kids when they're not well and you're trying to balance all of these things. Um, and, you, and you still can do really well at work. You can have an amazing career, you can have a family. And I think there are so many women that have proven that along the way. Um, so it's really important to me. So latest data has revealed that currently less than one in five women in Australia are seeing hopes. Does this statistic surprise you? Not at all. I think uh, women have had to really battle to find their way through to the top of organisations. And I think when you think about gender bias, most people look for other people that are like them. So they're not always saying, oh, I'm biased towards that person. They don't necessarily recognise the bias. Um, I studied gender bias as part of my master's degree. And I did that because I had a, a former CEO say to me one day that he would like to see me be more assertive with my male colleagues. Uh, and I think for the staff who work with me today, they, they may understand why I found that a little surprising, but anyway. Uh, so I decided, I, I was studying my masters and I thought this is an opportunity for me to have a look at whether this is right or wrong, because I really felt that my relationships with my male colleagues were good. So I studied uh, gender bias and found that he was wrong. Um, if I was seen to be too assertive, problem would be that my colleagues, male colleagues, would see me as aggressive. So finding that balance for women is really tough and I'm proud to say that the relationships I have with some of those male colleagues, you know, I've still got good relationships with them. So I think gender bias plays such an important part in how we see women and it's something that we really need to think about ourselves. You know, what biases do we bring to the table? What biases do men bring to the table? And you can understand, for some of them, they've never had to think about the issues that women face or the challenges that they face. So they hire people that are just like them and they need to stop and think and say, how could I do this differently? What does this woman bring to the table? So the answer to your question is not surprising at all to me that only one in five CEOs are female. So Stella, why is breaking the bias so important to you this International Women's Day and beyond? International Women's Day for me has always been about recognising the contribution that women have made to help us get to where we are today, so all the way from the suffragettes until now. But it's also about creating opportunities for the women that will come along behind us. And I think breaking the bias is so important because it gives women an opportunity to be recognised for their talents and for the contribution that they can make both to the community and to the workforce.